So what is equilibrium? And it's very important to understand first what is equilibrium before going vapor liquid equilibrium. So I'm not going to focus in the overall meaning of equilibrium, but remember that in general, in order to be in equilibrium, the rates must be equal, or the overall or net rates must be equal to zero. When we talk about vapor and liquid, you can imagine that the rate between vapor and liquid and liquid and vapor will be equal to zero if we sum them or if we make the net addition, okay? So in general, whenever you see VLE means vapor liquid equilibrium. So if we talk about pure substances, then VLE stands for literally, let's say this is ethanol and it evaporates. And you know that at certain pressure and temperature, you can have 50% of the ethanol in vapor phase and the other one in liquid phase. So let's get more technical. So VLE describes the distribution of a chemical species between the vapor phase and the liquid phase. The concentration of a vapor in contact with this liquid is often expressed in terms of vapor pressure. So instead of saying percentages or conditions, we just state the vapor pressure exerted, which will be a part of the partial pressure if we have a mixture. So in this case, if it's only a pure substance, the partial pressure doesn't make sense unless you separate the uh, gas, but doesn't make that much sense. So it's okay for now to assume that the partial pressure is the total pressure of the gas for a pure substance. Now the equilibrium of the vapor pressure of a liquid is in general strongly dependent on the temperature. What does it, this mean? Let's say that at temperature one, let it be 50 Celsius, Let's say that our partial pressure is one atmosphere. But if we increase the temperature, let's say to 100 Celsius, the pressure will increase, let's say two atmospheres and so on. As you increase temperature, you will see this trend, temperature pressure increases. If a vapor with components at a certain concentrations or partial co pressures is in vapor liquid equilibrium, then by definition, the component concentration, okay. Okay, this is nothing more than, if you know that this is in equilibrium, so if you have vapor liquid equilibrium, then you can find the vapor concentrations and the temperature given a pressure and the compositions or the quality. So what we're saying here is that given equilibrium, we can relate properties. And this is very important because many times you have, let's say, the composition of I in the liquid phase, but you don't have the composition of I in the gas phase. You know the vapor pressure maybe, and you know the temperature, and you know, let's say, the total pressure. With that, you can get this part right here without performing any kind of experiment. You just do the uh, calculations in order to predict the value. So that's great, and that's one of the most important parts that we're going to be doing in this course. The equilibrium concentration of each component in the liquid phase is different from its concentration. So let it say that not necessarily xi will be equal to yi, even though you can have that case. It's not normal to have that. And as stated before, there is a relationship. So many times we can relate y with something, let's say a slope, and x. So the slope may be greater than one, lower than one, and so on. This relationship can be observed, predicted, and calculated. So that's great. So once you start doing your experiments, you can obtain that value. You can also predict them with the data given in plenty of experiments, or if you already have the value, you just simply calculate it. We're going to see how to calculate that later on. So the vapor liquid equilibrium concentration can be determined via experimentation or what we're going to be doing via calculation with Raoult's law, Dalton's law, Henry's law. 